so you're not on Hughes being black flag, I presume you had the wrong numbering or something. So, someone on a kitty, I'm dying with a good start here. That looks to be Connor Lynch actually with a whole shot. And his championship contender right behind him, Clement Lana. And Colton Mitchell in third here. Looks like Colton Mitchell is on the move here, going to make the pass for Clement Lana for second place there. Mitchell's on fire. If he keeps this up, he could perhaps win, but I think Conor Lynch is going to be hard to beat here as he's the last few weeks have put in so incredibly fast lap times. And William St. Laurent commenting nice going again by EMF. I presume that was the kick of John Hughes in the start. And I don't know what that would be. <coughs> Sorry, that would be nice going as you are forced to run your official number and that's up to you to check. But Mitchell really showing off some great speed here. Corner Linz being first, no surprise, but Mitchell there just looking so fast and I think he was doing quite good in the RF scene as well. So I'm not falling that too hard unfortunately. But from what I've heard it's been really really fast. Clement Lana trying to keep up in second place and that was the one of four of I think Jesse Callaway going off the cider. Sorry, just going to do that for a quick second. I mean, great battle for second place here. Solo rise and behind him went Craig Leak in fourth. Man, Craig Leak looks like he's on fire. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna jump on TeamSpeak. I'm already in TeamSpeak actually, but that's a different one. And looks like Tyler Schmidt in fifth here. It's quite late for me as well, so I'm probably gonna go to bed quite soon after the race is done. Michael. Michael B. I don't wanna embarrass myself too much, so Michael B. here. In sixth place, a quite strong opening here from. Michael. Fred Heather himself. Connor Peavy, Lance Grunson, Stephanie Guido, and Jonathan Olson. Ruben Quilla or Ruben just looping out. Chase Diamond, Jeremy Seabolt, Jesse Callaway, Gunnar Fugler, and Regrav of Prince Seberg, Alanas, Maximilian Janot, Alex Monch, and Monch seem to have quit. So up here again we have still have Conor Linz in lead, so solid. Conor uh, Calder Mitchell, second place, and Clement Lana way back in second place. Still same second place here, but dropped quite far back. Tyler Schmidt in fourth, Craig Link in fifth, and Michael B here, sixth. I mean, it's a train of riders, so it looks so solid here. Connor Peavy trying to chase him down. Fred Header right behind Connor Peavy. Linus Gernson and Gernson currently sits 15 points here, so really good seeing him battling out on the track. Looks like Michael gets a little bit off the track here, so that all number 92 of Corn PV is going to take our fifth place as Michael loops out, going to lose a bunch of position, dropping all the way back to 10th as he rejoins. Looks like we have a battle between Chase Diamond and the 24 of Jonathan also, and that is going to be Gunnar Fugler taking Jonathan Olsen down. So also being punted off the track by Gunnar here. I mean, it's fun to see the moves, but it sucks to be the person be, that be taken out. So Lennon's going on dropping even further back here. Probably made another mistake. Gunnar Fugler going to continue chasing Tyler Schmidt. So Schmidt dropped quite a few positions quite fast. 
Gunnar Fugler is to the outside, looking to the inside of Smith here, not able to make anything happen in the flat turn. And Goranson doing the triple in. That was a nice slam with Goranson. Both Fugler and Schmidt looking a little bit off. There's a good battle between right behind him as well. Throw with Goranson and Callaway. Gurnson currently 12. And these guys have caught up quite good to Chase Dunham, so Chase really has to watch out for both of these guys behind there as they're quite close together. Schmidt's all over Chase and oh, too bad. <laughs> Chat's just messing up. And unfortunately, they got together. But I would say that Tyler was a little bit too close to Chase. And everyone's going down. Callaway, Chase, Guido. Just a mess. So, one big mess there. Seems like no one really dropped too far, everyone just crashed. So Connor Lynn's still with the lead lapping Chase down on it in 12. So let's see here if Chase is going to play the nice lapper or just going to get going again. Oh, he pulls out of the way, lets Connor buy. Nice move. Doing the right thing. Colton Mitchell still second place and Clement Lana third, so still. No change in the top 3 here, as we are halfway through, lap 8 out of 15. Craig Leak, 4th place, solid as well. Jeremy Siebold has made his way up from pretty much last to 5th. So great racing from Siebold, as he, I think, he became the RF West champion. As he was undefeated for like 6 races or something, it was just nuts. But Clearly having some speed, showing that in RF. Connor Peavy just dropped a few spots there. Still really, really good. Michael B, Sam Place, followed by Fred Heller and Linus Grunson. Back here we have Gunnar Fuller that looks like he's opened up a gap here over Chase Lennon. And then Tyler Schmitz dropped back even further to 12. Doing a weird line of the finish line. Currently being chased down by Ben Seberg and Stephanie Guido, Andrew Gravoff. So Gravoff, nice moving for Clement Lan as he gets lapped. Looks like Ben Seberg with slight mistake, and both of the get, both of these guys should have the blue flag up. And ben Seberg casing the triple, and Guido unfortunately lands on him, both of them going down, and that's Ruben I think getting squirrely, Mixmilla Janot as well. 177. Jonathan Olson getting squirrely. That's the guy's buy. Does a nice thing and does not take anyone out when he re enters the track. Jonathan looks like he might have to pass made on Ruben, he's so fast. It looks like he's pretty much faster than Ruben everywhere. And that's one that is number eight, number eight of Craig Leak in fourth actually. Getting a little bit in the way of these guys as they are trying to battle it out, but unfortunately they cannot really pass Craig too rough. As they are Currently Lapas, Andrew Gravoff just going down, getting taken down by Jonathan also. Unfortunately getting into the side, not really a takeout. Look here, it looks like Ruben is trying to close off Jonathan Olsen. Jonathan also with a mature move of predicting that, so being slow, being all over the track as well. But 
Ruben with a mistake. That's going to allow Jonathan to close up quite good again. Not really losing too much of that. It looks like Conor Lins now with an 11 second gap over Carlton Mitchell. Clement Lana yet another around 18 seconds behind. Craig Leak in fourth, actually really, really close by Clement Lana here. So I presume Clement Lana have made a few mistakes that has allowed Craig to pass, uh, to catch up, as I don't think the gap was that close before. Jeremy Seawall still a little bit behind the group. I believe that impact rider was ghosted, as Jeremy seemed to be fairly on impacted on I don't know what to say anymore Jonathan Olson being a nice lapper so Michael B up to 6th place move around Fred Header oh that's Valtteri Tiana not racing I wonder what happened there huh so I wonder why Valtteri isn't racing. But he was moved. Oh, it's a 250s. I'm so... Oh, wow. I shouldn't even be commenting sometimes. So Connor Lynn's just putting, pulling off lap after lap after lap after lap. Colton Mitchell, second place. Clement Lana, third. And Lana just dropping back, Relic just right on his tail as well. This could potentially be a really really good battle for third. Jeremy Siebel looks like he's actually catching up as it seems like the guys in front of him makes mistakes quite a lot. Michael B, so solid man, I, I haven't even heard of the guy in the start of the season, I played some counter strike with him and got to know him on TeamSpeak, he's a really really nice guy. And he's really fast as well. I think he raced three amateur events and won two out of them, and then asked for an upgrade. Uh, and I mean, if you want win two out of three races, you're most likely going to get your license upgraded. Quickly loops out and not all so close to saving that. that he had a m Pass me on Clement Lana as well. Too bad that did not second Seabolt is actually going to be right on his tail once he gets going. And Seabolt is not really the guy you want on your tail. Because Seabolt can be darn fast and darn consistent as well. Oh, Seabolt going to get caught up in the 1 of 4 of Jesse Callaway. Nothing too major as always seem like he tried to at least stay out of the way. I'm surprised I haven't called him Jeremy Seatbelt yet as some seem to be messing up on pretty much everyone's names. That would be my no-brainer and the only guy on a not that's not on a KTM 250 2016 is Ruben Creeler. He's on the CRF 2009. That was Craig Leak with a crash there. That's going to allow Jeremy Sibyl to get up to fourth place. Clement Lana is still going to be in third. Mitchell second and Conrad with a lead. Solid 10 second lead. It looks like both of these guys has really, really consistent laps. Not doing really any mistakes. And this is the last lap, so Connor probably going to take the win here right in a few seconds. Connors has the fastest lap of the race with a 56.6. Colton Mitchell with a 57 flat. We also have Gunnar Fugler with a 57.4. Craig Leak with a 57.6. As well as Jeremy Seabolt with a 57.6. Clement Lana with 57.3. And Connor Lynn's taking a victory. Colton Mitchell, really, really clean race from this youngster here. Clement Lana. I mean, he has to shake up here because Seabolt is. I see. Five seconds behind, so one fall off by Clement Lana is going to give the positions to position to Seabolt if Seabolt 
is not making any mistakes himself. But it looks like Clement Lana is going to get finished here. Clement Lana taking third and Jamie Seawold going for fourth. Michael B debuted finishing fifth in the, his uh, first ever 250 Pro event here. As I said, it was amateur until last week where he got his license upgrade, so Michael is going to be really, really happy about that, I'm sure, as he's pretty much happy about just racing. Really, really nice guy. I almost thought we were going to see a wheelie for the whipster, but that would be sick, so I assume not. So, Conor Lynch, congrats to him with the win. Colton Mitchell, Clement Lana. Jeremy Seabolt, Michael B, Craig Leak, Fred Heather, Conor Peavy, Gunnar Fugler, and Linus Gurnson. So I assume that Conor Lynch is going to extend his points lead with about 5 points, making it around 16, coming into the second to last race next week. Waiting here for the game to restart as it's being really slow. Get my haircut a few days ago and I feel like a hedgehog, it's just incredible. So 450 main areas all to come up. So it seems like I'm going to be have to stream this whole thing by myself. I thought I had Moto Gogo, Moto Gogo lined up here, but it seems like he wasn't able to make it. But I mean, I I don't have any more tile to this, so I'm basically just hoping for people to show up. And Nick was unable to get to go this week as well as he had a dental appointment, so he was unable to join me for commenting. Unfortunately, I always enjoy having Nick on the stream with me, as he's really nice, and I like. That he actually talks on his streams, not just being silent. Wow, the starter is not looking too good. So, how do we just being pushed so wide? Unfortunately, I had to look at a few other things. I got a phone call. So, just had to check that one real quick. So Valtteri and Tiana with lead here, closely followed by uh, Tyson Freshwest and uh, Matt Burkeen. So definitely two fast guys behind here. So three of the uh, Hunt Root in fourth, so probably four fastest guys here on the track at the moment in top four. That's really, really fun to see. And Burkeen off the track.
but I have to take a phone call real quick.
So sorry for that, I'm finally back. I had to take that phone call. I was trying to sort of pay attention to at least change the riders every now and then. It seemed like we had a battle between Russ Chapman and Walter Gebhardt. Uh, so Rush got black flag and down. Nylon just got black flag right behind him. So following now, Hunter with the no surprise is up in the lead here. Matt Burkeen, second place, solid ride. And I must say, I pointed that out early in the stream as well, but Burkeen with such a weird riding style, he seemed to be sitting so much. I can just kind of figure out how he can be so stable on a bike sitting down, but probably a really comfortable setting for him. Okay, obviously standing up in the whoops. But sitting down, it seemed like he's sitting down pretty much most of the time there. Quite interesting. Really interesting style. I usually don't notice two different styles between different people, but this one was just very special. So behind him we have Valtteri Tiana and Tyson Fuerskes in fourth. So pretty much the top four guys I would say in the top four positions. Benet Kravich followed by Maxim Tyson and Aaron Santos, Cameron Hill, Matthew Maceron, actually passing Cameron, and James Armstrong. And I would say I think Matthew took the chance he had to pass Cameron while Hunter was lapping him because it looked like Cameron shaked up quite a bit there to let Hunter pass. That's the psycho part about shaking up for leaders is that there might be someone you battle with catching on to them and trying to pass you as well and it's a clever move to be <coughs> the one behind there to pass but it sucks to be passed that way. Either way, great racing here. And Maxim Tyson with 6, I would almost say that's one of the best places he's had all year. Fun to see here. Bini Kravich just behind, in front of him. What was this? That was Andrew Santos dying and that was Walter Gebhardt getting, being, he got caught up on. Walter currently in 14, unfortunately there with Rush, not sure what happened but it seemed quite bad. So Hunter Root still in lead, fastest lap time of a 55.6. We actually have Tyson with a 54.7, that's the fastest lap time of the race so far here. Matt Burkeen. Almost getting together there with the 86 of Cameron Hill. Valtteri Tiana. And Tyson quite soon behind. Quite. Man, I can't speak slightest good today. I can't talk. I don't know what to say. Tyson just being as off track as I'm off talking. Oh, getting cleaned out by the 86, I think that was. Or 88 perhaps of Florian Kane. Not sure if that was on purpose, but he took quite a hit. Looks like Walter got black flag as well, perhaps. And leaving a question mark right there. Was probably not knowing what happened. So it looks like we have 8 seconds up to, up to root. And Tianan um, has about the same time up to working as Tyson has up to Tianan. It seems like Tyson is just a tad faster as he seems to make up some time pretty much here and there on the track. 59 was obviously not the time how, uh, Tyson would want as a lifetime as he has had quite much faster laps. B8. Andrew Santos, Maxim Tyson, so Tyson. Where is Tyson? On the ground. In the what? He must have gotten so sideways in the whoops. So Santos went by at least. 
Matthew was there battling it out with Cameron Hill still. Dora Marriott right behind those guys as well. That's probably the best battle to watch as both guys try to triple in. Looks like Cameron had a little bit more speed, different lines, and it looks like Mysterio's line is the fast one. It looks like you get too much airtime if you triple over the if you do triple in and then triple over the on off and then do the quad. It looks like that gives you too much airtime instead of doing on off on off. But Merritt looks hungry, man. Looks like he's trying to catch Hill pretty much everywhere on the track, showing a wheel here and there. Interesting to see if somebody favors the inside line. Everyone seems to be going around the fast outside, and that outside berm is so sweet. Such a good exit rut, if you want to call it that. Marot just still seems like he's trying everything he can to catch Cameron here. That's Jordan Boyer, number 70. Being passed. Both guys seemingly like going to triple in here. And let's see again. Both. No, that's actually Dora Marot doing the. Getting together, and that's Monsieur as well down there. Duran Boy coming as well. Man, that sucks to be. But we have. <coughs> that was Duran Marot going down, unfortunately. So James Armstrong is going to pass Marot here. And going to be right behind Monsieur and Cameron Hill as well. Armstrong with a slight mistake. So going back up, Hunter Root still in lead in front of Burkeen. Tyson fourth and Tianan fifth. So I presume Tyson passed Tianan or Tianan made a mistake. <coughs> Sorry there, still a little bit sick. Kravich with Santos right behind him and that's a battle for fifth. So Beanuit has the top five and Andrew wants it. And Andrew looks fast man, it looks like he's trying to search all over the track to make the pass on Beanuit here. Looks like he enters the whoopsie with more speed, catches up to the back of Beanuit. Almost able to make the pass, trying to... Oh! Andrew triples in and both guys goes down. Unfortunately, Beanuit goes off the bike while Andre stays on it, and Andre is probably going to be left here by Hunter Root if he lets Root by, he used to say. And I don't know if that was a mistake or if he tried to let Root by. Either way, Root <coughs> passed him. So Beanuit going to have to sell for six as of now. Maxim Tyson, seven, so solid race here by our. One of the admins and hosters of this race, Dora and Marot. Nice triple in there. On, off, and on, off. And that is the Museum right behind him. The gap between these guys are one second here. Probably me not paying enough attention. So Matthew going to want to go around Dora Marat here for. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry about this. Eighth place. So Hunter Root here going to take the victory. In front of Matt Burkeen. Hunter with a 55.5 is the fastest lap time. That's insanely fast. Burkin second place. Tianan, oh, Tyson's down. And fifth place got lapped, so lapping all the way up to fifth place, that's insane. Tyson stuck there with Tyson and Tyson. So Maxim Tyson getting stuck with Tyson Fresh race, unfortunately. So Tyson just going to have to f finish here. It looks like. Matthew Misuron goes around Maxim Tyson as well as Doran Merritt here, so something must have happened. Doran Merritt needs to. Oh, Cameron Hill is going to get a position. Unless he crashed. Cameron Hill off the track. 
Tyson's not half a second behind these two. Dora Merritt, unfortunately for him, dropping a few spots here. Kale Simrock, Florian Kane, Donald Marcuson. Saving them all. So Hunter will win here, congrats to Hunter. Matt Perkin, Sagan, Valtteri Tianan, Tyson Freshwest, Dan Santos, Binu Kravich, Matthew Monsieur, Cameron Hill, Maxim Tyson, and Dora Merritt. So thanks everyone for tuning in this week. As usual, this will go up on YouTube as soon as possible. I'll hope I see you guys next week.